We're back here again with Jelion. And he is going to show us the two card Megalith combos. Yeah. Let's dive right in. Combo is you open Pensaplume and Ophiel. You go Pensaplume, reveal the Ophiel. Special the Pensaplume from hand. So this also works with Chalice Slime it Ophiel, does, right? You just need a discard. And then, but it, yeah, it does work. Um, you summon Candle, Candle activates its effect, add the ritual spell, the incantation inception to hand. Then you go... It's incredibly based. Yes, you use the inception, you tribute the Candle to summon the Ophiel. The Ophiel adds on summon, it adds your Megalith packet to hand. Uh, then you go Inception's effect, send the Pentaflume to special Talismandra from your deck, and add itself back to hand. Talismandra triggers since it was summoned from your deck, you add Ben 10 to hand. And in this point, your opponents have scooped, but keep going. Anyway, but yeah, um, you activate the thing. Well, they don't they don't scoop because they don't know how the deck works, so they don't know that you're gonna win. Anyway, Inception, you summon the Haggith, you activate its effect as a Megalith spell trap. Uh, so you add uh, Megalith Unformed, and uh, what you do then is you activate it, you tribute four, so you can summon a level two from the deck. You summon out your. Um, Would you consider Megalith Haggith to be muscular? It's a rock, really. Come on. Maybe. I don't know. It's okay. Yeah, go Fool Effect, add back the Haggith, and it becomes level 4, so Fool's now level 4. You go Fool's Effect, Ritual Summon, you tribute the Ben 10, and summon from the deck your Haggith. You have Ben 10 Haggith, add... Uh, ben 10 Haggith, that's crazy. Yeah, you add um, Megalith Portal, and the, ha uh, the Ben 10 adds the Diviner. And then we've got, we activate the portal, and then we go Haggith's effect to also summon, tribute itself to summon the other Haggith, and then we go uh, Haggith to add a spell and portal to add back the Benton. So we get the Benton back to hand, and we get the spell trap, which will be the second unformed. That's crazy. And you activate the second unformed, you tribute Benton and Diviner to make... So, so that's level 8? So mix summon to 4. Is 8 divided by 2 4, can you confirm? Yeah, so what... Four times two is eight, so eight divided by four is two. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to check that. But... Eight divided by four is two, though. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna uh, do this. You go summon um, another Haggis, and then you go one to add the spell trap, two to summon the egg, and then three to add. The Benten adds you Christia, the Diviner summons egg, and then the Haggis adds a spell trap, which may as well just be like. Uniformed? Or? And, yeah. Um, and then the uh, egg adds the ritual sanctuary on summon. So we add the ritual sanctuary as well to hand. Uh, and then what we can do is we can go. Exceeds with four materials. Not one, not two, not three, four. Four, you make uh, Alan Burton effect on summon. Adds any spell trap from deck to hand. So you just add. I know! And you suffer against the hand. Uh, and then this combo line is slightly better than normal summon track road, but it's close. <laughs> okay. uh, activate the sanctuary. Okay. So the sanctuaries follow up and a way to deal with Mystic Man because they can't deck you out, right? Yeah. Okay, proceed. It's just, it just gets you good stuff. It's great. Anyway, you do the Sanctuary's effect, shuffle back the two spells, and summon back the Diviner, and then you can uh, trigger the Diviner. You send from the extra deck, you send the uh, Herald. And so now it's a level 4 because it sent a uh, Herald? Also, it adds on. That's yeah, kind of cool. And the Herald effect activates to add, uh, you add the Magician of Black Chaos Max. Um, and then you do activate your Unformed, tribute the Chaos Max, and summon Megalith Ophiel. And then Ophiel's effect activates, add the Auratron to hand, and then you just go summon out, like, Halk, and you use the Halk effect, you summon out the uh, Researcher, and then you um, Synchro to make... Don't you make Elf first? So you end on matter. Elf? You do end on Elf, but oh. you doesn't you do this order or that order. You just make Elf and you Synchro. Um, and elf bring back full. Yes, you elf bring back full. Uh, and then you you have count the number of fairies in grave. So you have one, two, three, four fairies in grave. So you go all right, special summon Christia. Uh, and then Christia effect add back the binder hand. Fun fact: Christia is mandatory. Yes, mandatorily adds back the binder. So so. 
what, what's this end board? So you set the anti spell and you just activate it in your opponent's stamp to draw phase or whatever. So they can't drop it because of Arc Light. Uh, you've got anti spell up. They can't special summon. And even if they have. If they have double, like something. If they, ha if they sphere mode away your elf, your Christia, and your Arc Light, what can you do? So, so they normal summon they sphere mode. Sphere mode. Um, what level is sphere mode? Sphere is like eleven. Eleven. Yes. Um, I'm not. Sh okay. Well, so, so you can arc light trigger, you can right? Arc light trigger. You can add the. Uh, I don't know. You might need um extra tribute fodder or something. I'm not 100. percent I think. But yeah, you can add the full. You can discard the Aratron. So to quick effect ritual. Yeah, to quick effect ritual summon, and uh, you can tribute the. Uh, tribute the full. No, I think you would. Okay, tribute. No, don't you tribute the token with Och? Well, it's a level 11, so you can't tribute Och and the token, because Och has to tribute itself. Oh, so okay. You would need, like, a Ben 10 or something, like, some random shit to tribute for Och, because you can't tribute oh, Okay, so... So you tribute the token or whatever, summon the Fool. The Fool uses its effect to copy the level of Chaos Max and then add it back to hand. Yeah, this actually does one, yeah. So you copies it, it becomes 8, and you add it back, then you use its effect. It's 8, so you tribute itself to summon from the deck your Megalith. Ouch. Does Och have an effect on summon? You do, yeah. If you have extra cards in hand, you can draw one and discard one. It's your choice. But assuming you do that and you draw like a shit card and discard it, then you can do the other effect to Ritual Summon, and it, it's just quick effect Ritual any monster. So you contribute the Ouch itself, the Fool, the Diviner, and summon Chaos Max, and then the Chaos Max can activate its effect. Tribute itself to. So you as a thoughted through Sphere Mode, which is the only thing that added your special summon lock. Uh, yes, yeah. So you, if they simmer you, which is pretty much the only thing that outs this, you just... That's a fuck. So that's a decent board for two cards, would you say? Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Alright, thank you, Julian. Any shoutouts? <laughs> Alright. Uh, shout out to Marlon. If you know, you know. Yeah, if you know.